Hey fellow back air boyers, Nick here. Now, today we're going to be building a center shot bow. I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on center shot bows, so today I figured I'd do something a little different. Kind of like the April Fool's bow, I've never done this before. And I don't know how it's going to turn out or if it's even going to work. But basically, I saw an interesting bow, and it's an older bow. Uh, it was a stone or a pellet bow, meaning that it shoots rocks or pellets instead of arrows. And it was made by having two bows tied at the tips and then separated in the middle by this handle assembly. And what that does is that when you grip it in the middle, there's a big space between the two limbs where you can actually shoot rocks or pellets through and it won't touch your hand it won't touch the bow so I'm going to see if putting an arrow in the middle there if you can get a true center shot bow like I said I've never done this before so we'll see how this works now first thing I've got are two four foot long half an inch schedule 40 PVC pipes these will become my limbs I marked them right in the middle and then three inches on either side just as a reference. I'm actually going to be completely flattening these out from center and I'm not going to be worrying about these other lines. And then for the handle assembly, which is basically going to look something like this, I've got two half an inch schedule 40 PVC pipes. So these are eight inches long each. And what I've done is I've marked one inch and then two inches in from either side. So an inch and then another inch, or two inches. And then I have a three-quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This one's seven and a half inches long. I've got this top section marked half an inch and then one inch. And then the same thing as the other pipes. I've got the one inch and then another inch. So first thing we're going to do is flatten these out. So I'm going to show you how to heat up and flatten one of these. Okay, so here's the first limb. I'm going to be heating up right before the middle all the way to the end. Alright, so you know it's ready to go when you can push down in different places with just finger pressure. And I'm using three quarter inch spacer plugs on my flattening jig. So I'm just going to let this set, and then once it's cool, I'll take it out, and then we're going to go and work on the other side. So I've gone ahead and I've flattened both bows. As you can see, they have a nice taper. Well, the next thing you want to do is establish which sides are going to be the top. It's really simple. What you do is you take the bow you just push in and upwards. You can see this side, my right side, it's bending more. So this is going to be the top limb. 
Do the same thing with this other boat. You should it. You can see that it's this one too is bending more on my right side. So this is the top one. The reason why we're doing that is so that this bends just a little bit more than this side. So when the two bows are together, we can have the handle around the center point and the arrows will still fly as if it's centered. So now what we're going to do is start shaping our handle assembly. 